Hey Taurus, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your general tarot reading for August of 2020. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for all of my new and existing subscribers. I thank you guys so much. Your love and support means everything. If you wanted to transfer that support into monetary um, support, um, you're welcome to donate to my channel. Uh, the information is uh, in the description box below. Just be sure to put donation in the memo portion of your payment. And I love you and I thank you in advance. If you're ever wanting to book a reading, contact details are in the description box as well. Um, every Thursday night, I am here live for a $5 Q&A. Um, Thursdays between 7 and 9 p.m. Um, Eastern Time. And then last but not least, I'm creating uh, candles and also floral arrangements. So to, you know, view any of that support, order, or any of that stuff, um, you can catch me on Facebook at Alex's Passionate Creations. Then I am also on Instagram as alexes.passionatecreations, okay? So let's see what God, Angels, and Universe has for you, Taurus. Taurus. Ooh, angels are saying headstrong. I feel like a lot of you guys have been in your head. Um, what I'm also getting as well, a lot of you guys have been arguing, arguing as I say, arguing, right? Um, uh, the argument kind of feels like pettiness. It feels like, ugh, you know, I put my juice in the refrigerator. I put my name on it. Why'd you drink it? Right? Just little petty disputes. Um, could be could be arguments about money as well. You got everybody represented on this table, Taurus. You got pentacles, cups, swords, and wands. Very, very, very balanced with a major arcana. Um, you have the nine of, of pentacles, which means that for a lot of you guys, you could uh, be getting your financial mojo back, right? Um, you're now working again. You're now starting to bring money in. Um, not only that, but when it comes to the backlog of maybe paying bills that were overdue and, you know, getting your cell phone reconnected. This card also feels like to me that you now have extra money, extra funds to treat yourself, take care of yourself, beautify yourself, invest in things, whether it's yourself or business or whatever the case is. So I do kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, um, when it comes to money, there is a surplus now and it feels damn good, right? Um, The world card represents cycles, right? Um, this is also my life and lifestyles card. So it kind of basically means that it just kind of life feels good again, if you will, you know, especially sitting here with the nine of uh, pentacles, but then following, especially with the four of cups, it's almost like, you know, um, yeah, finances and money may uh, be great right now, and life is going good, but I still have this problem because um, not necessarily that you're not happy because you are one of those signs where, you know, if you're making money, you know, that kind of ties into your happiness. But I just kind of feel like you want more. You know, this this four of um, cups is you see the, the, the gentleman sitting there, you know, kind of looking above. He's not necessarily paying attention to that. So it's almost like you're a little... Um, distracted and you know kind of looking for love and support say for instance from one source or one channel and you may kind of be neglecting or not necessarily putting energy into the love that's around you right so it's almost like you're looking for the love of the one and ignoring the love from the many okay um and this card also represents too you you know kind of like neglecting people as well right because yes Definitely for a lot of you guys, you know, you could be investing a lot of time and energy into your boo-boo, right? But neglecting like your family or neglecting your upkeep or your house or your car or whatever the case is. So um, I do kind of feel like the reason why you're in this state of mind is because recently you had to cut people out and like move away from dramatic situations. What I'm also getting as well is that people who say, for instance, not, let me just say it. It's almost like people who poisoned your mind, 
You know what I mean? Toxic people, people who, you know, you would get into arguments with and then be mad at that person or, you know, talking about that situation for like the next three to five days, right? So these are basically kind of toxic people who are changing for a lot of you, some of your psychological DNA, if you will, right? Like they were really pushing your freaking buttons and not necessarily did you have to cut them out, but cut them away, but then cut off that whole process of people like mind fucking you, right? Um, I feel like especially that's something that you are really cognizant of now, Taurus, right? And, you know, you, because of that, as a result of that, you have this newfound energy. Now, for a lot of you, this was anger, right? You developed this, di this distaste or this bad taste, say, for instance, to people like that or, or situations like that in your life. And to an extent, that's why you decided to just go within and deal with the people who deal with you. Excuse me, or just deal with your boo-boo and, and cut the rest of the world out, but cut the rest of the world out, right? Um, but again, um, some of that has to come from you, Taurus, in that, you know, you can use the anger for good or you can use the anger for evil. And I just kind of feel like, at least for right now, a lot of you may be using it to isolate and seclude yourself and just be like, look, this is for their benefit that I'm staying away from their asses, right? You know, kind of like that, that attitude or that emotion. Okay, here is the King of Cups. This is somebody to me who comes, kinds of comes along and just taps you on your shoulder and be like, baby, now you know you need to go on and cut that out, right? And then he's follow up, follow up with the King of Wands, the King of Assholes, right? No, I'm not doing this until they act right, right? So it's almost like, you know, um, ew, three of swords. Oh, angels just said to me, this is you and your boo-boo. This is your, you and your boo-boo. Say, for instance, going head to head and saying, now look, you know you can't be neglecting your family. You know you need to pay attention to them. I mean, they love you. They're there to support you. They're this, they're that. And you're like, no, I'm not doing it, right? Like they did this. They fucked me over. They did this. You know, this is the reason why, you know, I'm deciding to do shit on my own and fuck them. I don't need them and blah, 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 Right? It's almost like there's a battle between, you know, the loving thing to do versus, you know, what your mind heart, excuse me, what your mind is telling you to do and what your motivation is and the energy, again, that's sitting inside of you. And again, Taurus, it just kind of, kind of feels like some hot, fiery energy that was born inside of you. I mean, for a lot of you, you could have lost respect for, you know, again, these people who were coming in and who didn't have your best interests at heart. And these could have been people who were, they thought they were helping, but they actually wound up deceiving you or lying to you. And it's almost like you found that out and you cut them out, but then you replace them with this anger and this fury, right? Not only that, but you're being confronted, right? You're being confronted by somebody powerful, somebody you respect, somebody who's, you know, kind of important to you. And they trying to tell you what to do. They trying to help you out. They trying to um, they're trying to steer you in a better direction, right? You have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I mean, they have your best interest at heart. They are a part of your success. They want you to succeed. So this person who, as an example, who's advising you and telling you kind of what to do, you know, there's somebody who who's in your corner. But for you, Taurus, I just kind of feel like you doing what's best for you and what's about what's best for your life. And it is what it is. Like, I can't see your point right now, King of Cups. So until I do, I'm just going to do me because they shouldn't have did this. I feel like right now you're just blocked and consumed with your perspective or your perception of the situation versus I don't feel like you're in a position right now to see the other person's perspective or to see, you know, say for instance, the other side of things. Right now, Taurus, it's 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 my way or the highway and fuck off, fuck y'all, whatever. It is what it is, okay? Um, Cause at the end of the day, you got hurt. Whatever this was, whomever this was, I feel like maybe this is somebody who you trusted who basically deceived you. And I don't feel like this is gonna sound stupid as fuck. But I don't feel like they meant to deceive you. I felt like they thought they were helping you, but for some reason you wound up getting hurt. 
But one of these swords, Taurus, you have actually stuck in your heart as well, because again, that's your bullshit perspective. It's almost like you seeing the side of the story that you want to see and not necessarily the truth or their side of it. Right now, I feel like you're rejecting their side of it, right? But guess what? The person you cut out, you know, could have been somebody who was close to you, mother, father, sister, brother, like, you know, somebody you were connected to, you know, feels familial, right? Somebody who is down with you. Um, or this is you breaking up or severing a tie. You know, maybe you and this other person get into it and you're like, fuck that. I don't want to be with you no more. If you know what? You're not going to be on my side. You're not going to be with me at all. Right? It could have been you putting your foot down unjustifiably, you know, kind of swinging a sword at the wrong freaking person. Right? And, you know, for some reason that left you cold and bitter. Right? Or with this newfound anger. Right? And now you're kind of scrambling, trying to figure out what to do. Um, what I'm also getting, especially with this being that temperance, right? For a lot of you guys, you need to check your at, uh, check your temper and check your attitude, right? Because I just kind of feel like the universe, don't let the universe step in there with its big feet, right? The universe is going to basically step in and level things out. What, what it is that you've not seen before, the universe is going to show it to you, right? So the universe is going to come in there. And do like it does, honey, and gently start to unfold and subside and get rid of all of this fury and this anger, right? And it's going to start showing you just different perspectives of your situation to calm your ass down, Taurus, okay? So for a lot of you guys, um, you know, things are happening, right? And I feel like, again, your view of those things happening are distorted, right? The, it's almost like you feel betrayed by the people who co you considered close or loved you or loving you. And this betrayal, of course, left you hurt, left you feeling abandoned, left you feeling, you know, kind of numb also, right? But to an extent, you're doing it to yourself because you're a very narrow view, right? The king asshole, right? He's looking at it from his way or the highway. And by the way, fuck the highway. It's just my way, right? Um, I just kind of feel like, again, you're looking at this from a very narrow view and God Angels Universe and this beautiful person who's in your life, you know, they're, they're trying to lend compassion to the situation and, you know, honor you at the same time, you know, lend compassion and honor you, but also get you to open up your eyes and just kind of expand your view to be able to see it from a different perspective. Okay. So uh, right now, Taurus, it just kind of feels like you're hell bent on you, right? Not the situation, right? It's only what you think or uh, well, how you see it as. That's all that matters right now, okay? Um, anyway, I hope that helps. I, I really do hope you kind of, if this resonates with you, I hope you do kind of move away from this energy because whomever this person is, I mean, this is the situation, by the way. You know, they want to come in and show you, hey, no, the person might have said that or they might have did this, but this is really what they were trying to do. They were really trying to help and support you, right? And it also could be the person who you felt betray you trying to come back and give you loving support and understanding. But, you know, to an extent, Taurus, you just may not be having it, having it, okay? So again, if this resonates with you guys, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, you know, you can go ahead and subscribe. Subscriptions are free for now. No, they'll, they'll be free. Anyway, love you guys. Take care.